this is the envelope. Yeah. This is where it says where we're going. Watch. <laughs> we haven't even started filming and already having a hot flush. This video is crazy. This is insane. I always told myself if I ever hit a million subscribers, I would do something to give back to you guys. This is that video. So I set up an email address, asked you guys to send your video requests and I would pick one. I got so many great responses from people all over the world. I'd love to have you in Tokyo, I'd love to show you around. We could have a lot of fun, make friends. And I came across this one. For the whole of my teenage existence, I've always felt safe being invisible because that always seemed the easiest option. So now, as of recently, I've been trying to gain enough confidence to be seen. This is where my video idea comes into play. I thought for your one million celebration, a nice video idea could be being seen for a day, trying to be confident. One part of that challenge for me would be spending the day slash weekend with someone new and finding common interests and making friends. And this email was from... Hi, I'm Bethany. I am 18 years old. I don't really have much else about me. Love you, Taz. I'm sorry for being awkward. Bethany reminds me of me a few years ago. I was Bethany. I was someone who pretty much stayed hidden, didn't want to be seen, wasn't really comfortable with who I was, wanted to push myself, wanted to be out there and do all these crazy things, but didn't know how to get there. And the only reason I was able to get there was because of people like Bethany who watched my videos. So it felt very full circle to receive that email and something in me was just like, I have to do this. So I responded with, how do you feel about traveling abroad? All costs are covered and potentially going next. I love how even autocorrect was like, calm down Taz, let's be rational about this. Next weekend. And she said yes. This is the first time I'm gonna have an interaction. I'm quite nervous. I've got my notebook pad with me. I've come prepared. Actually, I haven't come prepared. I have a notepad and a pen, but I forgot what questions I'm supposed to ask. Things to ask. Are you a real human being? Are you planning to kill me? too much. Okay, I'll say things like, what's your availability? How far out of your comfort zone can I push you? That makes it sound like I'm going to push them out of a cliff. Um, I'm not. I promise you this is going to be a nice experience for them. Well, I hope so. Who knows? <laughs> I tried to surprise Moon with a holiday once and she ended up crying in Marrakesh. Is it 180? I went from being a human being that never talks to any humans to Skyping strangers on Skype on the regular. Don't speak to strangers, kids. Leave that to me. Just leave talking to strangers online to me. All I'm basing this on is one email. <laughs> cool. You know what? You just gotta live life on the edge. You really do. Life's too short. Okay, let's do this call. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry. Um, yeah, uh, I'm making it super awkward, but, um, do you normally do anything like this? Not to this degree, no. <laughs> I feel like you remind me of me a few years ago, and I was kind of like, this is very interesting. Yeah, let's have a great weekend. <laughs> let's just do crazy stuff. This is so exciting, mommy. <laughs> so I went ahead, did some research, and planned a holiday around everything Bethany said she'd want to do. Made sure we would be safe. And once I had found a place, it was time to book the Airbnb and book the flights. I also wrote some challenges in envelopes that she would open throughout the trip. Okay, let's begin the trip. Just got a message from Bethany saying she's arrived and she's making her way over here. This is the first time I'm going to meet her. This is quite, this is such a weird experience. Like meeting a subscriber in this kind of situation in real life, it's so weird. What if it's like super awkward? I've been so busy planning this whole thing that I haven't really thought about how this moment is gonna go. Like we could meet and it could just go really bad and be super awkward. And then we have to spend like a few days abroad together. Okay, let's go find Bethany. I see her, I see her. Oh my God, he's so hot. Wait, is that all you really? That's incredible. So should we introduce you? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> this is Bethany. Hello. <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm excited, I think. Yeah. Yeah, just trust me. I'll be fine. Uh, 
So we had made it to the airport and Bethany still didn't know where we were going. It's time for the first envelope reveal which says where we're going today. The travel board is just there. I have the flight number on here so she's gonna find out where we're going. This is the envelope. Yeah. This is where it says where we're going. Finally the day the destination is in sight. Check out the travel message board to see your FR18865. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I don't know what it is. Uh, watch. Oh my god, it's so funny! I'm a bit excited to have it. We were in Lisbon, one of the friendliest countries in the world. We're here at the Airbnb. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> the best part of it, it's got Netflix <laughs> in every room. How cute is this? So cute. Are you happy? I'm very, very Yay! Happy. See, nothing to be nervous about, right? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just saw. This is challenge number two. Let's go and get dressed. Yes. There's this really cool vintage store, the boldest, brightest colors. So what I thought we could do is buy one item each for each other. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, oh, you yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> I see some color. I like that it's all color coordinated. <gasps> so you, this is, this is, um, Nice and neutral it is. Comfort zone, Bethany. Yeah. <laughs> Comfort zone. I was thinking more like this. Uh, that is. Do you ever wear um, funky bright colours? I've only worn it for a neon party. Oh my god, That's serious? Really Look at all these patterns. You can be anyone you want. Ooh. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Who is Bethany? <laughs> A nervous squirrel. <laughs> I think I found something. Are you excited? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, that's something a clown would wear. The whole point of this challenge is to push Bethany out of her comfort zone when it comes to expressing herself. That's pretty bright. Do you want to try this one on? Yeah. We're going to try that one on? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's just got a couple of colours in there. Just a couple. I think I did a great job. She looked sick in that skirt and seemed happy with it too. Okay, my job here is done. I should become a stylist. So now it's Bethany's time to decide for me. We are so different, it's crazy. <laughs> Honestly, I was so nervous. This could go in any direction. <laughs> yep, that's right. Bethany chose the beige corduroy shirt. I would never ever think to get beige corduroy. Like that's not something that comes into my mind, but you're obsessed with it. I love it. I literally love it. No, I wouldn't have thought to ever reach for it in a shop. If I saw like a mixture of colours, I just wouldn't walk past it straight would away. Would it be like too much? Yeah, too much colour. Like I could deal with like sometimes one colour. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. But this is like a whole shop bag, baby. She looked amazing. She tried to go back to her comfort zone of various shades of beige, but slowly she started to embrace the idea of wearing colour. We've come to the supermarket. Let's get all the food. We're making spaghetti. We're cooking dinner. <laughs> Basically buying food for the next couple of days because we decided to cook. Well, I say we. Bethany likes cooking, so she's going to help cook. That'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Really? That should be good for this us. This one? Yeah. Yes, we need help. We <laughs> value help. Actually, we've been quite good. We've been getting like um, vegetables. Mm. <laughs> oh, and I've got that. Bethany is a very good influence on me. <laughs> then there was light. This could either go really well or really badly. Have you done this before, huh? When you don't know how to open a bowl, you just put it in the fridge and hope, just forget about it. That's me with all my responsibilities. We got fish, we've got veg. We're such party animals, it's only 8 p.m. <laughs> and we're home cooking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> this time my guests are like, do you want to come on holiday with me? This is it's why fine. my friends are worried. Bethany's <laughs> friend literally texted saying like, don't get murdered. <laughs> Stay safe. We're gonna cook oh ourselves some romantic food. We're gonna watch a rom com. Yeah. We're gonna do face masks. We are prepared. We're, We're so really single, really guys. Good. We are so <laughs> single. This is what happens when I'm single. I just, <laughs> any stranger that shows any interest, like, you wanna go on holiday? That's do you wanna it. do something? I'm lonely, guys. I'm just, I'm really lonely. <laughs> 
After a solid hour of struggling to do basic things. Bon appetit, kids. Pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah. oh. <laughs> I mean that is just we've absolutely sabotaged that. <laughs> so we've got half a fish and all its leftovers. Oh beautiful, beautiful. Two hours later and the dinner is served. We're here, we got food! Only took us blimmin! Oh. Two hours. We got our food. What are you feeling for Netflix? A rom com? Definitely a rom com. A rom com. I think I want to be like confident, like almost unapologetically myself, because I haven't reached that point yet. Yeah. No matter how like much I will try, there's always going to be things I don't like about myself. But I feel like you need to kind of accept that and like not think about it in a way, you're like, maybe I won't like that, maybe I, I will never reach fully loving yourself because sometimes that's literally physically impossible. I think it's such a tough thing to expect you to love every part of yourself. Yeah. Because that's just not, I'll be honest, that's just not going to happen. For me, confidence is being happy. So yeah. if you just focus on what makes you happy and you focus on your strengths, there are a lot of things that I am terrible at and I'm not good at and I don't like about myself. But then that's fine, I've accepted that I'm not good at those things. But then I focus on what my strengths are mm -hmm. and I build my personality based on my strengths. I feel like people confuse perfection and happiness. I literally just think it's always just like self-doubt. It's always made up things in your head. So I feel like people don't think they deserve it, almost. So they create barriers mm. to be like, I don't deserve that so I shouldn't be able to have it. So it should be far-fetched because I shouldn't be able to reach that. Which is really That's so sad. Why do you think you don't deserve it? I think you deserve it. I think you deserve all the love in the world. Oh. I do love you, bro. Mm, thank you, I love you too. We're just making lunch and we're gonna have it in this cute outdoorsy place here because it's so nice out today. We're making spaghetti with vegetables and for dessert we're gonna have this these are called pasta donata and they're like a big deal here in portugal oh my god they smell amazing thank you that's good it's amazing i love it <laughs> turn out turn. and then we headed out and explored the city and tried the local foods such as these codfish cakes oh, do you have on yours mm. when you're just done with society do you like this? Should we get matching ones? Should we? We got matching um, necklaces. I literally they're actually really thing. cute they're because so they're subtle, so nice. but we know mm. what it means. And I'm going to wear it all the time. Yeah. Oh, like, do you think I look really cool and edgy now? Yeah. Are people yeah. going to think I'm really cool? Wow. Improving. We're all about our self improvement. <laughs> look at us. Look at these beauties. Oh, oh my God. I feel like I'm peeling off the layer of skin. Oh, just what we're going for. Have you tried the tea yet? No, I haven't. You're gonna down it? I was going to and then you interrupted me. <laughs> How do you feel about being on camera and stuff like that? Thing is, um, being on camera, I'm going to say I'm completely okay with because I want to be okay with it. So like, yeah, I'm like up for it because I want to get used to it more because I do like video diaries of my holidays and my days out with friends, but I never film myself. I like always film film them instead. So like, I guess I just kind of want to be more confident being on camera in general. This is gonna literally probably be a video on the internet of me without my makeup more than my friends haven't seen me without my makeup. Wait, your friends haven't seen me without makeup? They only ever have a fish set around my house. If I'm going out, if I leave the house, I always have makeup on. I used to wake up at 6 a.m. every day for school to do makeup. So, uh, was that because you wanted to put on makeup or because you felt like you had to? It was a mixture of both. I, I wanted to because I liked how I looked better with makeup on. But I did also feel like I had to because if I ever went out without makeup, I would look in the mirror and go, oh, I should have put makeup on. Even if I was going outside here, I would have to put some makeup on. That's insane. So how does this feel? Like how will you feel about this going up? 
it's almost empowering because it's I'm like in a comfortable state so it's how I would most yeah. want it to go out it feels to me that this is the most you yourself you've been mm. would you agree with that probably yeah because it's been the most calm I've been and this is you with not making any effort no makeup mm. and you're feeling okay you're feeling good mm. Bethany when we first met would never have done that yeah I think you're amazing. Thank you. It's four in the morning. Known you for 48 hours, mate. Loving life. It just means we're gonna have to come back. Friendship. <laughs> yeah, part two. part two. Part two, What? what's part two? We stay up to 7 a.m. I think we're a bit like um, delirious. Just a little bit. And that's a tea. Oh, she's a YouTuber, mate. She's a YouTuber. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, it's been such like a... I think I didn't realise it would turn out to be. We're dying out. It was so much fun. Oh! This is a final envelope. We have a lot in common, such as our love for BTS. Let's experience something for the first time together. All you have to do is say yes. Do you say yes? I say yes. There's a meet and greet in Lisbon. So there's going to be, hopefully, a chance for you to meet new people. Yay! <laughs> I feel like this could be really fun mm. to like exercise everything that we've done, just like channel it and go for it. I'm excited. I'm actually excited to meet new people. The nervous ticks come out. Oh. <laughs> no, I ripped stuff up. So she's feeling quite, she's feeling great about <laughs> this. Okay, let's go meet new people. Lisbon has the friendliest people. I loved meeting you guys. Even Bethany was in her element. It just feels right. It just feels normal and nice. You know? Oh my God, you're so cute. No! <laughs> Thank you for giving us everything. How adorable. And the cry, we always smile. We're always happy. Yeah, yeah? so I'm always saying Oh! <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. You happy? Is, that, is yeah. this like the best way to end the trip? Yes, it is. This has truly been a weird 48 hours, isn't it? It's very weird, but like from 5 a.m. Harry Potter cry sessions. Yeah. To this. Yeah. It's great. This is what happens when you say yes. <laughs> How was that? That was really nice. Yeah? yeah? You met new people? Yeah, I did. And it wasn't scary, was it? No. It was actually really lovely yeah. and really nice. Has this changed a lot of things in your head and been like, yeah. This has actually been amazing. Do you have any like goals for the future or for your life? It's quite a big question actually. Yeah. I guess like appreciate myself more. I still do have really bad confidence in myself. Oh my god, you're so hot! So should we introduce you? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> don't be nervous, please don't be nervous. Okay, talking about growth, this is crazy because we were just having a genuine chat. Bethany was like, you need to turn your camera on for this because I've got opinions. <laughs> and if that's not gross, I don't know what is, honey. Aww, we love a competent queen. <laughs> it's crazy how we were once complete strangers. By just saying yes, it led to some of the most beautiful experiences and the start of a great friendship. It's a lot more work trying to blend in than it is be yourself. Let it be, you'll find the best people if you are genuinely yourself. Ding ding! I don't know if you can see it. That's up there now for me to remind myself to be happy. Friendship! This video turned into something I did not expect. My message has always been that you don't need to come from money, you don't need to look a certain way, you don't have to be the most confident person in the world to be happy. It's always been a dream of mine to be able to get to a position where I can give back to the people who gave me everything. You guys are the reason I was able to do this for someone. You guys are the reason that I get to live the life I live and be as happy as I am. I hope I get to do more things like this because it makes me really happy and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!